All right. First and foremost, I want to give all praises to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shah, all honor and glory to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shah. Double honors to the elders and the apostles of Great Millstone who rule well, who is worthy to, to be counted for double honors. Peace and salutations to you, brothers that's out there pushing the truth and all uh, wholeheartedly putting your best foot forward and doing it for the love of the gospel. All right. Um, I'm coming with um, just another sit down. Um, I'm going to talk about the uh, chariots of uh, Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shah. Which is our elders and our apostles uh, are currently right now doing an, um, a live stream about it. I was just in there. Um, I was just in there uh, watching it, and um, they inspired me to do an, um, another video about um, the, the, the so-called UFOs, all right, which are the chariots of the Most High, all right. So um, I'm just gonna pull a couple scriptures on it and, and uh, expound on the subject, you know, all right. Um, First scripture I'm gonna get is Isaiah 66 and 15. All right, it says, um, it says, for behold, the Lord will come with fire, and with his chariots like a whirlwind, to render his anger with fury, and his rebuke with flames of fire. All right, so it says he shall render his anger, because when the Lord comes back, man, he's not gonna be passing on all uh, um, daisies and lollipops, man. The Lord's not coming back in a cheerful time. All right. He's coming back to uh, uh, render his anger, all right? He's coming back to, to, to cast judgment, all right? And how he's going to cast judgment, man, is with fury and flames of fire, all right? The uh, the scripture say in uh, Matthew, he says, The Lord has not come to send peace on earth, but with a sword, man, all right? So the Lord's coming back to that, that sword, so he's going to be, so he's so the Lord's right now, he's mad, all right? The Lord is mad. Just like it. The Lord is mad. Upon the things, the atrocities that the white man has been pushing on this earth, man. All right, so he's coming to uh, to turn everything back in its rightful place. All right, even for even if people do have to die. All right, whatever it takes to get this place back to where it was, man. This, that's what the Lord's coming to do. All right, the Lord's coming with an agenda. All right, and his agenda will be met. All right, everything will be crossed off. Every uh, uh every list, every accomplishment will be accomplished. All right. To uh, uh to go more. It says, for by fire in his sword will the Lord plead all flesh, and slain and the slain of the Lord shall be many. All right, and exactly, man, the slain of the Lord shall be many. All right, because a lot of people is gonna die because a lot of people are not right. All right, even within Israel, man, even with the people that know that that they're Yasharala. All right, the slain of the Lord shall be many because this world is corrupt. All right, and the people that are in it corrupt, man. I was just reading the book of Joshua, man, when Joshua has said, um. Um, when the Lord told Joshua, man, he said, hey, uh, go, uh, kill, uh, go, you know, slay old and young, you know, and, and cattle and, um, and, and take nothing from it, man. You know, don't take anything, man. Destroy and burn the city down, you know, and that's exactly what Joshua them did. Well, that's exactly what Joshua and them thought they did until they had that one, uh, that one wicked nigga who, uh, who took some, some, uh, good raiments and some, uh, gold and some silver, all right? But that's exactly what, hey, that's exactly when the Lord comes back, man. He said, not least, that's why the animals over here has to die, man, because they've been polluted, all right? The animals over here has to die, the the raiment, everything that's in this place is going to have to die. When we go up to that, when we go uh, get beamed up to the spiritual bodies, man, we're not going to take uh, 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 our clothes that's on our backs, or we're not going to take our, our phones, or we're not going to take our PlayStations or our TVs or the things that we, uh, you know, we have over here, man, all right? We're not going to have none of that, man, because uh, 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 once we get beamed up, man, we're going to have those spiritual uh, uh, celestial bodies, man. All right. So um, to get my next scripture, um, uh, I'm going to get uh, one and four. One. All right, this says, um, this is uh, Ezekiel chapter one, verse four, and it says, I looked and behold, a whirlwind came out of the north, a great cloud. And what is that cloud? That's cloud is a chariot. All right. It says, and a fire enfolding itself and a brightness was about it. A brightness was about it. And, and out of the mist thereof as a colorful of amber out of the mist of the fire. Also out of the mist, therefore came lightness as four living creatures uh, but basically that uh it got to the point where it says um it says the great cloud man what's that great cloud that great cloud is a chariot all right now within the scriptures man the clouds 
flames of fire, whirlwind, they're all uh, uh, compared as chariots, all right? Those are chariots of the Most High, okay? Um, get the next scripture. Um, just going to go down a list. So I actually have a, a uh, actually mini chariot, uh, mini chariot scriptures. Um, uh, all right, this is... um. This is uh, Jeremiah chapter 4, verse 13. Uh, make sure I got that right. Yeah, it says, Behold, he shall come up <coughs> as clouds, and his chariots, see? It says, He shall come up as clouds, and his chariots, so it's compared to the chariots, it's to clouds, all right? It says, And his chariots shall be as whirlwinds, all right? And I'll just say, uh, uh, Whirlwinds, flames of fire, clouds are all compared to chariots, all right? It says, His horses are swifter than the eagle. Woe unto us, for we are spoiled. All right, O Jeremiah, O Jerusalem, Shlakio, wash thou heart with from wickedness, to thou mayest be saved. That it said that thou mayest be saved. See, because you gotta you gotta cleanse yourself daily, man. You gotta basically put off that old man daily. All right, you can't when the Lord Yahweh Hashem is come back, man. You wanna be on the, the most the most goodest of His side, man, because He's coming back to destroy, kill. He's coming back to kill. Uh, 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 uh. He's coming back to deal, kill, and destroy. <laughs> Now, he's coming back to kill, first of all, these wicked two-third niggas in these uh, other nations, man. He's coming back to deal, which is what? Deal with the elect. And he's coming back to destroy, which is what? Destroy America, man. You know, that matter of fact, that's going to be my new uh, saying, man. To kill, deal, and destroy. All right? Um. Uh, it says, uh, how long shall thy vain thoughts lodge with thee? All right? So, yeah, man. You you guys, man, that's on... Uh, 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 Looking at these signs, man, and not taking heed to it, man, you were, you were soon to be destroyed, man. Because the Lord is showing you these signs to showing you that, hey, I'm on my way back. <clears throat> Which I've been seeing um a, a chariot sightings ever since I was a young man in the truth, man. Ever since I was like two, three years in the truth, man. I've been seeing a, a, a chariot signs, you know, when I was on a camera back with our old last camp leader, man. I was seeing them all on a camera, you know. I remember the brother uh, Demashapai, our elder uh, at the camp, uh, will make, an, um, will make a videos about uh, sightings, you know. So, hey, man, the uh, chariots, man, it just shows you how, uh, how how close the Lord is, man, you know? Um, uh, Lamentations. All right, this is Lamentations chapter 2, verse 1. It says, How hath the Lord covered the daughter of Zion with a cloud in his anger and cast down from heaven unto the earth the beauty of Israel? And remember it. Not his footstool in the day of his anger. It says, The Lord hath swallowed up the habitations. Yeah, but that was basically the part right there. It says, How it says, How hath the Lord covered the daughter of Zion with a cloud in with a cloud in his anger? All right. So what's that cloud in his anger? Is a chariot, all right? And some chariots is bigger and the small, man. It says one chariot can cover the whole face of the earth, man. That's how big these chariots are, man. All right. So these chariots are nothing to play with, man. If you ever watch World of War, man, these chariots can zap you, can zap your skin into uh, 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 vapor, man. I played that uh, game, um, what's that, uh, Infinite Warfare, and there's one, it's this one dude, man, he has a gun that can literally vaporize you into molecules, man. That's exactly what those, uh, uh, that's exactly what those, um, uh, what's it called, uh, those chariots can do, man. All right, vaporize you into molecules, man. And leave nothing but your clothes and a, and a pillar of ash right there, man. If you ever watched Looney Tunes, man, what's that guy named uh, uh, the Martian? You know, the little black little Martian dude. He comes with that gun, and when he vaporizes, what 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 what's be left, man? Nothing but ash. All right. See, that's what that's what these uh, uh, chariots of the Most High are able, are capable to do. All right. The ultimate war weapon. <laughs> okay. Um. All right, this is um, Mark chapter 13, verse 26. It says, and then shall they see the son of, and you know, I'm going to go, um, I'm going to start from, uh, I'm going to start from 24. It says, this is Mark, Mark chapter 13, verse 24. It says, behold, in those days after the tribulation, the sun shall be darkened and the moon shall not give her light and the stars of heaven shall fall and the powers that are in heaven shall be shaken. And then shall they see the son of man coming in clouds with great power and glory. See, so he's so the Lord is gonna come as soon as um this uh death and destruction has hit, man. 
when the missiles are simultaneously coming over here, that's when the Lord Yahweh Bashim Yahweh is going to come and redeem his elect. You know, that's going to be number one thing when he comes, man. When he comes, he's going to redeem his elect from those missiles. All right. And then he's going to come and conquer the world, man. It says the saints of the world shall take the kingdom of heaven, man. You think these uh, uh these uh, other nations in Esau are just going to uh, kindly give it over to us? Oh, oh well, well, okay. We was just holding it for you. No, nah, man. It says in the book of Revelations, man, it says they made war with the lamb, you know, and they didn't prevail not, man. The Lord is actually going to put his spirit into these other nations in Esau, man, to fight against him, man, because the Lord is a man of war. The Lord wants that fight, man. The Lord wants to take you down, all right? He's going to he's gonna put them thoughts in your head saying, we can take him. We can take him. Let's do this, man. And then when, and once he and once the uh, uh, the, uh, uh, the other nations and uh, so called white man is is coming against the Lord man the Lord is gonna completely annihilate you man, all right, and he's gonna use us with the elect to help him man, all right. So it says because the Lord has come back to get his glory back man, you know, for many of years the so called white man has the glory and has the uh, the praise all right people praise the white man all right so the Lord has come back to take his praise back man to come exterminate the so called white man all right. And then when people see that, man, they're going to be astonished, man. All right. It says, and then shall he send his angels and shall gather together his elect from the four winds. See, that's exactly what I was saying, man. It says, for the uttermost part of the earth to the uttermost part of heaven. All right. So basically, man, when the Lord's come back, man, he, the, those chairs are for uh, uh, two things, man, to uh, destruction and salvation, man. Salvation for the elect and destruction for anybody, anybody, uh, uh, any other. All right. Matter of fact, I'm uh, uh, I'm gonna say it like this: It's for destruction and salvation, salvation for the elect, destruction for other. All right, because that's exactly that's the only people that's gonna be uh, beamed up to those chariots, man, is the elect, you know, and destruction for other for anybody else that's not the elect. All right, and if you're not part of that number, hey, sorry for you. All right, um, I'm gonna get one more scripture and just end it off at like that. I just want to pull a couple scriptures. Um. Ooh, I gotta get this. I gotta get this. Uh, gotta get this one. This one is um, you know, I'm gonna start from. I'm gonna start from 29. This is Matthew chapter 24, verse 29. It says, "Immediately after the tribulation of those days shall the sun be darkened." Oh, dang! This is repairable. What uh, Mark said. It says, "It says dark and the moon shall not give her light." And the stars shall fall from heaven, and the power of the heaven shall be shaken. And then sh shall appear the signs of the Son of Man in heaven. And then shall all the tribes of the earth mourn, and they shall see the Son of Man coming in the glory. Socket in the coming in the socket, the Son of Man coming in the clouds of heaven with power and great glory. It says, and he shall send his angels with great sounds of trumpet, and they shall gather together his elect from the four winds. From one end to the heaven to the other, all right. So that's really recapping exactly what um Mark has said. Really, this was where it first was mentioned, and Mark was just recapping where this was saying. Let me get another one. So I went in on a you know a different point. Um, right there. All right. This is um. This is one of my favorites, actually. This is uh my favorite. I'm gonna start from two. This is in Nahum chapter 1 verse 2. It says, Yahweh is jealous, the Lord revengeth, the Lord revengeth, all right, and his fury. Um, the Lord will take vengeance on his adversaries, and he receiveth, and he reserveth wrath for his enemies, all right? Who's the Lord's adversaries, man? You know, who touched the apple of his eye, man? All right, which is the so-called white man and other nations, man. If you read the book of uh, uh, Psalms 83rd chapter, man. They have uh, all had a part, and they have all had a part in our um, affliction, man, you know, and they even helped further the affliction, man, to, to show you that the heathens are a part of the adversary too, man, all right, and, 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 and what, John 8 and 44 is to just show you that some Israel is part of his adversaries, man, and, and part of his enemies, man, so the Lord is coming to seek vengeance and uh, uh, see, uh, uh, put wrath upon his enemies and his adversaries, all right, it says, this is uh, verse 3, it says, the Lord is slow to anger, and great in power, it says will not at all acquit the wicked. Now what's now what does the word acquit mean? Acquit is like if you're going to a, a judge and they acquit you of your charge. Basically, they're saying, never mind, we forgive you. You're 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 free of your charge. You don't have to go to jail for selling this oil, uh, 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 
order counts of uh, uh, half a pound of weed or half a pound of uh, opium or half a pound of uh, uh, meth or any any type of drugs like that, man. That's being acquitted, you know. Basically, forgiveness, man. There's no so, uh, um, uh, uh, um, uh, uh, there's no type of um, 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 forgiveness for these things that these white men has did, man, upon this earth. All right, he has to pay that bill. All right, it says the Lord hath. It says, Lord, have his way in the whirlwind, which we know that's talking about the chariots, and in the storm, and the clouds are the dust of his feet, all right? Because that's exactly what the Lord's coming in with, man, all right? Now, with that, I just want to give all praises to Yahweh, Hashem, Yahweh, Shah. Double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone who rule well, all right? And peace and salutations to you brothers that's out there pushing the truth, putting your best foot forward in this thing that's not being lukewarm. That's putting your whole heartly and is on fire 24-7 for the truth. All right. Shalom to you, brothers. All right. And for you niggas that's in GMS, man, the Lord shall soon put you out with the castaways, man. We exactly see what type of doctrine they preaching, man. All right. Lord willing, I'm not part of that number. All right. And when I'm saying I'm not part of that number, I'm talking about I'm not part of that number uh, that are lukewarm. All right. With that, Shalom.